What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right. So before I get into this video, I want to give a big shout out to the brother Town Bitch doing a video talking about this subject matter as well. All right. Please subscribe to the brother Town Biz Sports and Media Entertainment. All right. So Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott will undergo thumb surgery and will quote miss several weeks after exiting Sunday's 19-3 loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with an injury, team owner Jerry Jones told reporters. ESPN's Todd Archer, citing multiple sources, reported that Prescott, quote, is expected to miss six to eight weeks, and the injury will likely land him on injured reserve, unquote. Jones told reporters that he was, quote, disappointed, unquote, by the news, while head coach Mike McCarthy called it a, quote, significant injury, unquote. When Prescott addressed the media, he revealed that he thought he had only jammed his hand, but was later told that he had a fracture. Prescott went 14 of 29 for 134 yards, zero touchdowns, and one interception prior to exiting late in the fourth quarter. He was replaced by backup Cooper Rush, who Jones suggested would fill in for Prescott. Jones told reporters after the game, we'll have to have Cooper step up. He'll get all the reps, and we'll go from there. Look, um, let's be honest. This may be a death knell for the Cowboys season already. At best, six to eight weeks, he comes back, what, week eight? At worst, he comes back week 10, um, that's a lot of losses. That's a big hole to try to dig out of, potentially. Half the season, more than half the season. So, um, this could be the death knell for the season already for the Dallas Cowboys. And look, I've been one of the biggest pricesters when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys laughing at them for losing. But I got to admit, man, I'm actually starting to feel sorry for them. Because after a while, and I know what it's like. I'm a Bills fan. After a while, it becomes sad. It's like, it's even worse with them. Because they get all of this attention. They get all of this attention every day from the sports media. And yet they can't fucking win. They, they can't even get to a conference game. They show no legitimacy for all this attention. And meanwhile, as the years go on and on, other franchises are catching up with the Cowboys. The Pittsburgh Steelers have surpassed them, if I'm not mistaken, in the Super Bowls. Other franchises are, have caught and passed them. In the last uh, 20 years, the New England Patriots caught, reached, and surpassed them. And you're going to start seeing more and more of that as the years go on. I really think that somebody, some divine uh, presence, has never forgiven, has never forgiven Jerry Jones for firing Jimmy Johnson. Now, he won that last one with Barry Switzer. That was just some hangover effect shit, you know. But when it comes to Dak Prescott, look, you got the money you wanted. A lot of people did not see you as this elite quarterback. They didn't see you on the same level as, you know, Tom Brady and uh, <clears throat> Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers and Prime, Russell Wilson. They didn't see you on that level. And, you know, I get, I get it, injuries aren't people's faults, but availability means a lot. A lot. Okay. And over the last couple of years, look, he fractured his ankle back in 2020, missing all but five games. 
Uh, last year, he played in 16 of the 17 games, but he had a shoulder and calf ailment throughout the season. Now it's this. Plus, he got hurt in practice on Thursday, hurting his ankle. So he's he's turning out to be an injury-prone, underperforming, um, unclutched guy. I mean, it's just how you would perceive him right now. And um, it is what it is. Cowboys suck, man. Just suck. <laughs>